jump into that first map of port. So let's hop into it right now. All right, here we go. We are getting on to port here for the second, or rather the first map that we did have. And Imperial fr starting from Blacklist. So this should be a great opportunity for them to go start aggressive. Because after Celebi's first match yesterday, I don't think they are going to be starting in a aggressive GR position. As they're just set back near their base. Uh, three towards B. And more for the backup from the bridge. And just Rambo the sniper at the top. We see some... Initial poking going out both teams as uh, we often see in the first round. And they're feeding each other out. Immediately getting taken out, but the rest of the team gets back him up. And they will make their way onto the site. They have taken heavy losses here. Superior is looking for the plan. Yeah, 2v2 going to be the result from all of this. Rambo, though, does have the AWM, as does MG. So we are going to have a couple of the guys picking up snipers here, or keeping their snipers. Not going to be easy to get other weapons, considering where everybody else did go down. So, no bomb plant just yet. Imperial waiting it out. Still a lot of time before they do go into this one. MG just yeah. going to cover one angle. MG in defensive uh, sniper position, looking for the last player, Hater, to come from the end. Yes. There he is. That's 1-1, one, one, though. MG, he has the bomb, so he says, well, a top. I mean, I can just run over here before he can, rotate faster, plant the bomb, and then I'll have this, you know, top area to snipe down from, so might be even better for him. And now it's up to Hayda. Needs to try and deny vision as much as possible to MG. First couple of shots go well. MG not able to hit it. Now Hayda might have the opportunity, but time is on MG's side. Just needs to try and slow it down, but with this little health, he'll be able to. He's going to wait here on the ladder. Hayder spots him, and that's going to be the shot and the defuse. Hayder is able to clutch it here in the first round. Well, Hayder, the initial few shots from the bridge all the way down really got it, really brought MG's HP down, forcing him all the way down the ladder to the side, even with the grenade. There was a lot of pressure there. And great start. Hayder actually saving the team at the end. After it was a good initial setup from Imperial, not able to quite seal the deal. That is something that troubled us yesterday in that first map as well. Mm -hmm. Also, oh. like the three man defense on the B site for Celebi. After taking two riflers out, I think they just wanted to go in. That's when the third uh, just came out and collapsed on the other members of Imperial. Yeah. Imperial going to be looking to change up their strategy a little bit here, taking it a bit slower. It was a bit of a slow push into the beginning of B, but then they did go all together. But for now, just spread out. It does look like we did have Natsen pick up the bomb, as he usually does. And he is making his way over towards B, so that might actually be the direction they choose. And this time, Sala be opening up B site, focusing slightly more towards A because that B uh, was secured in the previous round. Uh, but instead, Imperial again directly going to B. Just, just after TP going to back out. Able to make it out as well. And unlike last time, not enough people waiting to defend here. Lucas gets taken down by Ryu Zhao. Nicely done, and now full control for Imperial of this side. Bomb will be planted. And we do see Rambo and Hurry trying to make them over, but way more people available. Hayden goes down as well. It's not looking good here for Salazar. Legend, but they find two. Rambo comes up huge, and all of a sudden it's just Ryu Zhao on his own, having to defend against two. He's a sniper, but his name's Rambo, man. He's it down. Oh, and he's able to clutch it! Rambo, or rather Ryu Zhao, does take the two of them out. It was a really nice play, actually, from Celebi to get there, but then Ryu Zhao was so clutch. I think he took out four of them. Yeah, at least four. Yeah. Just from the B entrance, he took out two. <laughs> yeah. And two there, very nicely played. And that is going to tie things up as oh, Imperial. Oh, 
not wasting any time here. The timing rush real quick, but the defensive line from Celebi is actually doing saving so well. No one dead. And that's one. Down. That's almost two, but Lucas is that fight after all. And now they're kind of stuck in rock and a half plays. Not really the opportunity to go for something else. We see Rambo coming in from the flank. Trying to cut him off, Ryu Zhao is holding him down. They'll be able to take him, and that opens up a possible rotation if MG can get out of here, but that doesn't seem very likely. Oh. We'll get blown up. Very important kill from Lucas. Ryu Zhao is here again. He has seven kills in three rounds so far, and there's an opportunity for a couple of more. Not sure exactly how clutch he can be here, as this time around... Shady and Lucas are going to spread out a little bit. Ruzal gets one. Hits the wall shot. Let's see if he can get a ninth kill. Oh, and he will not. Lucas is going to pop out and take that one down. Mm -hmm. Two best players on the team currently with the KD. With Lucas saving the team. Oh, Imperial. Yeah, it does stop Imperial from getting into B completely. With that loss, I think Celebi would have had really bad rotation coming into the fourth round. But at least Lucas was able to pick up the last kill. And this time he's going to peek out for his BL base. Fire in the hole! Like, this time. It's a fight between the two aces. This time it's Ryu Zhao that takes him down. It's a lot of power gone here for Celebi Lost Legends. Provide Imperial with a little bit more time. These nades have been great from Celebi, though. MG chunked down very, very low. Yep. Did take that one, and does look like this time Imperial wants to mix up their strategy just a bit, as they will not be heading towards B. A little bit of a push out from Rambo into the B entrance, so he might be able to get this information. Mm hmm. That's a great point, as Rambo's already out in entrance. You see some smokes down to, towards the bridge, all the way far towards the GR base. The Celebi has a pretty good idea. This has to be an A attack. Down. Just destroying all of them, and Rambo's all alone here. He will be taken out by the pistol of Ruzal. He does make that happen. Picks up his 10th kill and is carrying most of the weight. Pretty back and forth here. And that's usually when Imperial likes to strike. They do like those timing rushes early on. Not really waiting for the clock to run out. They just go in at 150, even in two minute mark. Directly into a side, not even carrying the C4 sometimes. And Celebi, I'm sure they're aware of it from the regionals. But when you're actually facing it, facing them in the real game, it's not just... Of course, watching their actual play from the regionals help them. But when you actually face them in the real game, it doesn't feel the same. Now as you're on the receiving end of it, able to gather as much information as you might be when you're just watching the VODs. And Imperial not opting into pulling the trigger just yet. She pointed out G-Clef might not be running out the clock like some of our other teams that we have seen that really like to play it very, very slow, but still taking some time. is looking like A is going to be the designated arrival in the end. Rambo waiting by himself and still three people on the side. Also, utility being used. Celebi seemingly not reading the play. right now. Right below them is Pepe. He's trying to just take them all out at this point. He picks up three. Though it's still the winning position here for Celebi. It's only MG left. Gets the quick scope. And he's going to get a second one. MG is able to clutch it there at the end. Just barely. So it's all Pepe and MG for that one. In a row, flicks. Quick scope. Actually, that was e uh, easier to aim because the rifle came right into the crosshair there. But MG is calm and ready against 2 one Saved the team big, big time. Didn't even have to plant. It was a valiant effort from Adrian Rambo doing really well and holding him off initially. And as I say, that Rambo gets taken down. And again, this A side is very successful for Imperial. They're going in again. 
Already two taken down. Pepe finds a second one. And this one is done and dusted. Imperial just running over Celebrate Lost Legends here. Yeah. And it was a flawless victory. Not a single person did go down on the side of Imperial either. So I love the way they're mixing up the tempo, sometimes taking a little bit of time. But when they decide to go in for the attack, it's all or nothing. Everybody's joining on in, and it has been working. With this much pressure, Celebi has decided that, okay, let's take the control over a long first. And Notson actually went into change the just sniper. Checked on to a long, but just we had way too many members. Imperial instant response into B site. A lot of damage from the Philippines. Is landing some of those shots as well and they're staying alive, although over the top of Calm is able to get a couple. Two on two now, Hater takes out Ruzao. And MG is alone, no quick scope this time around, and the pistol is not enough as Hater will pick up that final kill. And this is the second round. Initially looks good for Imperial, but then Celebi with stalwart defense able to slow them down for just a couple of seconds. The reinforcements coming in hot. Even with Lukam converting that little health into quite something, it's not going to be enough. And this time, Shady at the ready. Very forward defensive. Salami working out expertly. Is already two taken down. This is a real ni nice mix up in defensive positions for Salabi. After pushing a long one, go straight and rush into the B entrance, and Shady is popping off right now. Usually, the sniper is mostly in the tunnel. Usually they stay in the tunnel, they don't go back and forth between the games. They're trying to gain the momentum themselves, and they're feeling the uh, blood rushing. They did exactly that, as the aggression this time pays off, as you can see Shady getting a bunch of those kills with the sniper over by the B entrance, really just chipping one away at a time. And if you're able to do that, you're going to be in a great spot. We're all tied up at 4-4. Four to four. Imperial not going to waste any time here. Nice headshot from Fefe onto Shady, who was doing a really nice job, but they have not taken down Hater from the top of it. And they are forced back, wanting to take it a little bit slower. That is plenty of opportunity to play. Almost two minutes left on the clock. And these continuous A pushes now getting sniffed out a little bit by Celebi Last Legends. Also see Lucas pushing up very far. Might run into trouble here. Get behind him, but not even necessary as MG finds the 1v1. Luke is going down, and it's yet another aim push from Imperial. Rumble from the bridge, at least taking down the Rizal, who was supposed to cut the backups off. So it is a 2 2v3 with low HP. Let's see how this goes because MG is going to be in a really good position for sniping. Yeah, it is going to be a bit rough to retake this one as MC gets the one and Fefe gets the two. And 5-4 here for Imperial at the half. The Blacklist side going a little bit better for them. Although I, I do feel like some of these having a, a much better time at least against Imperial compared to us. Exactly, I do do agree on that. Celebi changing changing their rotation rapidly even though they are in, in DR, not from the Blacklist. So I'm excited for the second half, how Celebi is going to rotate throughout the map. I think they're really feeling comfortable compared to their day one. Day one, their rotations were a lot slower. They were not really changing their strategy too much, understanding how strong the opponent was. But regardless how strong the opponent is, again, today, they're actively changing uh, where to go throughout A and B, even in defensive mode. So now they're switched over to the Blacklist side how they want to react today. And with Imperial on GR attempting to not replicate the events of yesterday where they dropped their first map to Team Myth, having to come back, quite able to successfully do so, but not now they'll start in possible tiebreaker situations. Seeding as well, every single round that you lose can come back to bite you let alone a dropping entire map. So Imperial wants to try in the dispatch of Celebi here. But as you pointed out, Jekyll, I feel like Celebi feeling themselves much more than yesterday. 
Although I'd imagine it also helped with not playing against uh, Bishak Gaming. Yeah, also the fact that their snipers are actually taking on lots of action, that usually helps to boost their morales up to go directly. So that's usually sniper opening up an angle, helps the rifles to directly go up so much more. Mm -hmm. And the fact that Shady was able to grab some nice kills in the B entrance and also Rambo doing okay. And But from the BL side, of course, we do see the five rifles, which is the most common on this map only. Flash grenade! Tons of flashes in the B entrance, but nobody's actually coming in over there, so mm -hmm. some utility going to waste. As it does look like the push will be onto A here. Okay. Lucas and Shady and Hater all coming around the bend. Another flash, but still. Able to pick up the first kill. Shady pushing up aggressively, finds one. Trump still there, not able to take him down as well. And now, it's all gone downhill. Poor Celebi, Rambo trying his very darndest to get them back into it, but just Hater alive. That's one. Now, all of a sudden, we're looking at a 1v1 here. Hater has a lower health bar, but does find the kill. Very important round for Celebi. Pretty massive uh, clutch play there from Hater. I think he picked up three or four kills on the round. Looks like four. And overall, just smacking them down, even after they had a pretty good defense over on that site. Mm -hmm. And then after showing that, we was five rifles immediately into double AWM. Let's see where they want to focus the snipers. I think they're looking for maybe even challenging up to... MG, who's on the sniper's nest on a top, poking into a long, or look into the bridge while smoking all the way back towards BR, uh, GR base. Flash grenade! It's going to eat some time and poke, and make sure they have angles open for the rifles to come. Can already see the difference here as well. Imperial favoring. Throwing a couple of curveballs in there, some rushes. When they did pull the trigger, it was generally around this time mark. So it'll be taking their time a little bit more. And looks like it will be opting into that hard push on B. Mm -hmm. You have two smokes on A down, so they're faking it as an A push. All right, let's see the push here. Fair spawn on the box. They trade one for one. Lukov all alone trying to cover the angles. He's able to trade one for one, though, so at least it is an even fight on the retake for Imperial, even with the fake. As here comes Ruzal, trying to land those shots. He's able to take out Lucas. He able to 2v1 Shady, but no, Shady's going to 1v2 them. And now he's got some room on the back side. Pistol shots will land from MG. He's incredibly low, though, as he spots Shady. He's trying to land a shot, but he will not be able to, and Shady is able to clutch it at the end. Shady's position in the back street was actually all the way back to the left, which is not the most common spot. I think he was also trying to hide, hide himself because he was sort of caught by MG, or at least he thought that he was caught by MG. But of course, MG with the sniper gun was going to be a hard deal to go against the two riflers. And another round for Celebi. They're actually playing really swiftly today. And it's the continuous 1v2s, 1v3s that Celebi is able to find. Uh, first it was Hayden, now it was Shady. We've seen Rambo do it as well. Everyone picking up the slack for this team that got beaten pretty relentlessly yesterday. Really nice bounce back here from Celebi thus far. Whereas Imperial has looked good at times, but so far... And GR unable to actually get themselves around, setting themselves up for nice positions every now and then, but not able to close it out. Celebi again going to be taking their time, scoping out their opponent. And the previous B rush was actually without using too many flash when they had extra in their hands. And just feeling out and smoking a. This is very detailed attack, the understanding how Imperial actually reacts so quickly in rotation when they use the flash, so they do not even want to give that information just 0 0.2, 0 0.3 seconds beforehand. Also feeling confident that they can actually push with firepower yeah, without using that many flash. It's always a great sign for the team to push in. And here we go, speaking of that push, but this time Imperial do have three over 
on the B side. Shady pokes his head out. See what he can see. Doesn't, you know, get too much done. Just throws a flash in and then backs away. And it looks like Celebi, with about 40 seconds, they are going to reconsider. And three members are going towards that bridge. And under the bridge they will go. Nonsen is able to spot this, though, and poke a little bit of damage in as MG and Lukov will easily dispatch of this push. And it is just a slaughter here by Imperial. Nobody taken. I mean, Fefe took about five damage, and that's about it. Yeah, Fefe's poke from the side towards the bridge, guys, actually, it gave them a lot of confusion. Like, where's that rifle actually coming from? Because he was spotted for a split second. I don't think they actually spotted him. I spotted Fefe from the A side. Made him actually turn around a couple of times, all three guys. So it made it super easy for the B defense of Imperial to get them back. Rizal is just a madman at the moment. He really kind of just ran it through mid. Mm -hmm. He got an initial kill and really threw a wrench into the gears though, which yes, was pretty nice. Yeah, sometimes when you get just get a good respawn, uh, when you get a good spawn, you just ask your team meter or some of the teams, they, they don't even have to ask them. Like, can I go? Like, go. And then yeah. you immediately just shoot <laughs> down the lane and see what you can do. They're working out well for them though. As Imperial looking to claw the back from this deficit. In a great position, Hori very low. Rambo and Shady both already down and do see again Celebi looking to go for that transition through bridge last time around. Didn't work very well for them. And okay, Lucas is going to open up with the kill and you can see Imperial very spread out on a, on a map like Port. You kind of have to do that, especially when you go down on members. As a smoke will be thrown in B entrance. Trying to indicate that they're not going that way, but they're going to take their time to run. Low health is going to go down to Knotson over at A. I thought Huri was going to stay there until there was an actual push towards uh, the bridge because they smoked out B entrance. And Fefe did spot that smoke in B entrance. I thought the time was real off. But still managing to get MG in towards the GR entrance. Now they have opened up a big gate to go in B. Fafe still waiting in the wings. Should spot them shortly. <laughs> Holding off. He's hide playing and hide and seek. Oh, that's perfect timing. Here's the plant, and Fefe is just one sneaky snake. That's nasty right there. Oh. Fefe knew everything, exactly where they would go. Check all corners except for where Fefe was because they still had to plant. They've done very well here. He starts off with a kill. The answer, and it's just a straight up aim coming through. Everything being thrown down. Not working out too well so far. Shady able to get the kill. An MG either. And now again, the full rotation has come through from Imperial. But because MG plus Ruzao was on top, they could not really get in earlier. Only Lucas left on this ladder and... Yeah, Imperial not really having a great idea where Lucas is at the moment. I think he was just spotted. Yeah. And some shots being thrown out here by Lucas. He's going to take so much damage from the grenade and one shot from the AK will get it done. Eight to six now, Imperial. Started off a little bit slow against Team Myth. Started off a bit slow here against Celebi. But now they're trying to lock this first map down at least. Yeah, Shady just checking the bridge just in case Rizal comes through the gate again. And just jump on top of their members. Not going to happen this time. And goes back to Rifle as usual. Just drop up. He's not showing up at all. Yeah, absolutely. Just a meat grinder over there towards the entrance. And Rizal even going to follow up with another kill with the AWM. Speaking of performances, he has been the most impressive for me so far. Starting off well in the first half now, 8-3. to three. Nice shot here from Lucas, but more than Lucas to do the job as Rizal is going to pick up that ninth round here for Imperial.
Big thing for me is Richao yesterday. It was mainly the defense, right, where he really, uh, really showed what caliber of player he was. But now he's seemingly extended that to every scenario. Uh, has been the backbone of Imperial, but the entire team seemingly now just continuously winning fights. You got little flashes of brilliance like Fefe hiding around the box, waiting for just the right amount of time. And Six to nine, Sabi now dropping four in a row, not looking likely we're going to be able to defend control this one. Yeah, Imperial on a map point, and they are not stopping, they're actually, actually coming out. Just Fefe on B side, he's alone, but he's actually pushing. Which is giving a lot more, which is giving false information to Celebi saying it's not just going to be Fefe defending B side. Sort of pushing them into the bridge side and A. Yeah. Fefe, a very intelligent player. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, can throw a wrench into the idea there. Rizal up on top of the bridge, trying to hold things down. They also have Lucam there, so lots of coverage around this area. And you can see the push is slowly making its way through. But Lucam's perfectly on the angle, gets the two of them, and this one looks done and dusted. Only a couple of members left, Shady and Rambo, trying to make their way now onto the B site in an act of desperation. They give their position up, they get flashed. Nice shot by Shady, though. Gonna give himself a much better shot here as Lucam. One and okay, Rambo trying to go 1v4 here, picks up the first, gets the second, coming okay. around the corner as he is low on ammo, and that is going to do it, Imperial will pick up the win on four. Not looking very lively when he saw Salabi Ross Legends pick up two in a row around the mid, but unlike yesterday where it took Imperial really an entire map against teammates to come online here, once they take control it felt Almost impossible for Salabi to really make a mark. Individual proper performances of base. And here we are. Of course, this is the map that Imperial did have a little bit of trouble against Team Myth yesterday on. But, you know, maybe just a little bit sleepy, maybe a little bit of a slow start. Doesn't look like we're going to waste any time here trying to jump through the bottom. Peter and Lucas in position. Not able to win the fights though. Now they get the kill on Ryu Zhao, which is huge. Shady will pick up that AK. And still going back, going back into the B the bot, but they have so much time. They don't even have to go directly in because they know that Rambo is alive and had the sniper gun. Now back on AK. Because knowing that Natsun is very low, I think that's a pretty good option. And we do see the fake out towards B, but then the full rotation coming through from Imperial. Also ready for Celebi to expect that play coming through now. Yeah. As you pointed out, low health bars here, so slightly disadvantageous position for Imperial, but they have not been spotted yet. Yeah, if you ask me a question, 2v2, one's low on this decision. If you are from the GR side, which side would you rather defend with two men, I would say B, because once uh, once they're actually in A, it's easier to just get one bullet in. B side, there are so mm. many uh, boxes and on top to check, and you can just peek your head only, which basically means you're 100% HP in that position. And take a look here at the positioning. We see Natsun going all the way around. <laughs> And that means that Fefe just has no coverage. And now. This will be a defuse. <laughs> yeah, Natsun's just not here. So, easy defuse. That's going to be Rambo picking up the MVP for that round. Gets the defuse. And, you know, a little bit of trickiness with the low health bars. Imperial not paying off for that. And got a command Rambo there as well. Very quick on the draw. Going away all the way around through air ducts. Able to get himself into a position where actually utilize the little bit of space that Imperial left there with maybe a little bit too much proactive searching for some of the leftover members from Salabi from Nutsin. Very good Double man from the side. This is a... You don't really see this position <laughs> at all. Especially in competitive. But 
didn't work very well because mm -hmm. now three members are dead, walked into the meat grinder, and the bomb is in no man's land. Yeah. So now all they have to do is cover every angle, and you can see that uh, everybody on the side of Celebi is on that A site. So they have the bomb, they have the A site covered, and they can just sit here. So it's really all up to Imperial to try to make a way, find a way into here. As Ruzao is in the back, spawn, but he is spotted and shot down. I feel like the Ankara troubles might continue here. Like a quick 2 0. MG not take down Lucas. Oh, though, we'll be able to do it on the second one, but feels like a classic case of too little, too late. 1 HP, 1 D5 miracle. <laughs> not going to happen right here. But. We've had some insane moments, like below 10 HP, 1v3, 1v4, in CFS finals. So, let's wait for those moments. It can always happen because these teams, especially the sniper action, is always on. Sniper action never ends. Mm -hmm. And let's see if those double man position from the bottom side next to the stairs shook Imperial a little bit at all. It's clear that Celebi came in here with some funky strats, and it's definitely one way to try to uh, outdo your opponents. Mm -hmm. They probably knew they were playing against Imperial on Ankara. It's such a common thing, and they were preparing for it last night. Ooh, the jump saved Hori from going down. And also Lucas taking one down from a long. That's a big hit. And now, very important position. Again, C4 on lockdown here. Shady standing guard with Hader and Hori covering his other angles. Lucas will go down there. Found by Rijan. Looks like he might again have to do some lifting here, but with Lukam also getting taken down, 2v4 now. Not looking good for Imperial as MG gonna be walking in here. Needs one of those multi-man miracle plays if they want to salvage this one. Ruzhao also nowhere nearby. MG actually was able to salvage the bomb somehow through the smoke and everything. And you can see that Celebi's like, well, if he's running towards A, we kind of have to be there in position. But MG reads the situation. He is going back towards B very slowly and by himself. Not able to land that shot, oh. unfortunately, as Hater is just going to take him out from range. This was going to be a smart location into potentially yard or even B office going to B site. But with the C4 down all the way to, towards uh, G uh, Blacklist face, Rizal might not have time. And even before that, Hater is just going to find the kill hidden in the side. Now a couple of back-to-back -back shots being missed for Imperial and as hot as they looked on port. As frosty do they look here on Ankara with multiple times bomb being dropped in uh, unfortunate positions. Play's not really working out. Now going in here with the double sniper. Mm -hmm. You can see from the position and the pace from Imperial that the defense from the A side really worked hard and it's engraved in their brain right now that their, their position is their position can be unpredictable, so we have to check everything and be be super careful. Oh, this is kind of funny. It's it's quarters to six, and you can see that Luke is going to catch it unawares. Luke is also going down. A couple of headshots there. The perfect timing. As Vefe is also going to pick up one. So we're going to get another kill here on the Vefe. And Rambo, the last one, rotating through the connector. But all the members out. Going to A and B. Now he's found. And that's okay. two. Rambo excelling in a uh, 1v multiple people situation. As his namesake might suggest. But still a lot of people. A lot of people to cover. Whoa. That is free. That flick. Rizhao also very low. Oh, he almost hit that too. Man, that would have been so crazy. <laughs> he actually made the 1v5 happen. 
it's nice to see, you know, even when they go down that far, mm -hmm. Celebi are still fighting. Imperial, yes, they, they got the jump on him. It was, it was kind of a lucky timing. They came out there into middle. Obviously very aggressive from Celebi to be pushing out. But either way, Imperial do get the... Uh, they still do have the lead. And now they're going to get this initial kill onto MG. Yeah, sometimes there are a few players on, the, on each team. If you just let them lose, they do so much better. Sometimes they handle the pressure so well in 1v multiple situation. I think that's Rambo at the moment. And he is certainly carrying the team. But Imperial, even in really unexpected angles, like where Shady was right below what you're seeing on the screen here. Still Imperial, they got their shots in. Direct headshots instantly. That's how you break through. Nori able to kill, also make his way out, whereas Rambo providing support and fire, picking up yet another. And now Ryuzo and his team not even able to pick up a single return kill, and Celebi are just walking over Imperial here on Ankara. Not a lot of promise showing thus far on this BL side for Imperial. Really struggling with this one, is Imperial. They're just getting absolutely wrecked so far by the side of Celebi, who just have their number. And Imperial, mm -hmm. they're going to go for something pretty aggressive down through B-bottom, it looks like, as five members all together. Yeah, B-bottom and also Imperial never really checked into office either. So they need some more information, but Rambo is on top of everyone. What? <laughs> and they have Lucas in position from the office, as you can see. Dotson gets a couple, but with half health, I don't know about this. At least he has the bomb. He's on the run, though. <laughs> 1v3, near full health. Hori, Hater, Shady, they just have to find one. Half health left. And he's going to make his way over at this point. I think Salami might be suspecting something, and a 1v3 defense here mm -hmm. on A side would be very, very hard to actually deal with as he's holding off, wanting to catch them in the rotation. This is an important moment for Imperial. If he pulls this 1v3 off, he can totally swift, uh, switch everything. But of course, a higher chances for Celery to win the round and keep the momentum going. Hey, well, he spots Uri, and unfortunately that means that he spotted himself, and they just swarm him. Uh, Celebi is crushing them here, 5-1. to one. This is not a close match. Oh, I'm loving this. As tactical pause returns. The slow zoom. For the next round. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> After the round. I was ready. That, that really threw me off. I, thought we, <laughs> I saw the stare. I was ready. But we'll be one more round here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about time they call for a tactical pause. What was the golden standard for tactical pausing? Was it Black Dragons who called a tactical pause and then won like five yeah. or six in a row? Yeah. Yeah. And went to extra rounds. Yeah. And basically won the map. Yeah. That's a good tactical pause. Hard to top. Effective. Effective for sure. Imperial are really taking their time with this one as they are going to be making their way in towards A. A lot of smokes in the middle on that front yard. Mm -hmm. Trying to deny as much vision as possible. And Celebi, three top or three top. Oh, he's waiting for the flash. Three flashes, though. All right. Start off with the kill. He's out. Not quite everything. That one finally gets a headshot. But that is it. Fifty gets knocked down by A. As Rambo gets two, Hater gets two. The wall, everybody's just stopping. The wall is way too high up there. <laughs> they could not really climb that wall. He's trying to nail it into everybody's heads that, okay, we really got to step it up now. This is the time. And it really is. I mean, these guys just have not had much luck on this map uh, multiple times now in a row. So we'll see what they can do here. Smoke out, yard time. He's trying to bottom. Has to go. Will trade favorably for them as least for now, but the pressure's coming through, multiple pushes. Happening. 
the flanks, Rambo finds yet another hater and they completely collapse upon them and what starts out as a pretty good scenario now has to turn into Rizhao again. Mm -hmm. Rizhao comes from the side, it's slightly too late to join the fight but he still be able to pick up that C4. Good late on the shot but he's still able to get the kill, a hater extremely low and now the bomb picked up, which means that Rizal is actually going to be in an advantageous position. He can put it down, bring Heater over to the site, and potentially get that defender's first shot. Rizal has a lot of pressure. After the tactical pause, need to bring the round for the team. If Celebi wins this, that tactical pause is, was just no good. <gasps> then they didn't finish him. Yeah. He does know he's there, though. The flash comes out. He's out back up top, and the shot is there. Hager going to clutch it, get the defuse, and bring Celebi to 7-1. to one. That might be the one that breaks the camel's back. Imperial trying their hardest. And that round starting out a lot better than a lot of the previous ones, but Celebi reading well, rotating very, very quickly, much faster than what we saw from them yesterday. Able to immediately go in, collapse, and pick up so many kills. Again, Rambo coming up huge, but Hayden now also starting to rack up those kills. Celebi. Celebi just have their number somehow, some way. The even the pistol battle goes the way of Hater, as he was running out of bullets, switched to the pistol, and got another kill. So now it's up to Rizal again. Yeah, this talk is about, looking good. Talk about bad luck, and Salabi had the perfect read. They never came into office. This is about time they changed something else. And that will be it. First half, 8-2-1. 8-2-1, Imperial only got one single round. That is unheard of. Especially after how dominant that first map was, right? Yeah, there was some slowdowns, but as a whole, still very much a well played map from a period here. It's just a disaster, and you gotta credit Salaby with their game sense. First is a double man defense on A, that Imperial just run into heads first, and then in this round, another important one, just get blown up in exactly the same way, and as you pointed out, Gikarov. Where they haven't been before, but it's just three men waving out of seemingly nowhere, and when it happens again and again, the appropriate credit to Celebi looking to even out the map score here to one and one. Got to be feeling so good for Celebi. They're finally having some success in this tournament for the first time, basically. I mean, they kept it even with Imperial, but now this is really the true showing. Hey, I mean, we are a contender. Look at us. And of course, you could look at it from the opposite angle and say, okay, Imperial seems like they're really having trouble on this map. For some reason, they're they're not finding the angles here, especially on Blacklist. But Celebi had to play well and get a lot of clutches in this one to make the score this dominant. Mm -hmm. And you start out with Rambo on fire. Didn't get the kill, but still got the half shot in Knotson. And that's, that tiny angle is really hard to, it's more for the information. And you can get the kill if the opponent is a sniper to sniper, but not against a rifle oftentimes. Just, that moment just told us how, what kind of shape Rambo is in at the moment. His fire is still off. Time to defense, and now as Imperial, you need to win nine in a row. The very least, eight to one if you want to extend the match. That's such a tough one thus far. Good start to this one though with Fefe really picking up Rambo and Rambo has been the big player for Celebi. One minute left on the clock looking like they want to make their way towards the yard. Okay. It's in waiting. Knotson is here, yeah, but he is again pretty low on health. He'll be looking to trade one for one and get some information. Oh, they spray him down, Pepe's there, but this is still a win for Celebi. They tie it up 3-3, three three. they're trying to isolate Lukal here. And they will be able to. Lucas also going to be able to pick up that kill. And now 3v2 with the bomb planted. This is looking good once again. And just MG and Rizal left. The backup came slowly, expecting the bomb to be planted. Rizal runs in, gets the kill. 3v2. Oh, it's Health too low. Now it's just MG with no health bar effectively. 
Against Hurry and Shady. Mm -hmm. And they're not going, even going to peek, just going to wait for the sniper to come. It's gotta be two really quick, quick scopes, but not this time. Nine to one. Celebi. This could be a 10 to one victory by Celebi over Imperial, which would be crazy for where we're at at this point in the tournament. Just one round away. And Celebi would just run, love to just seal this up and go to map number three instantly. That will give a lot more room for them to think. And a lot more questions for Imperial before going to map number three. I think that at this point as Imperial, if you uh, actually drop, even if you don't drop this one and you're somehow able to claw back, you're going to start thinking about banning Ankara because thus far here, TFS 2021, this map has been their greatest weakness. Yeah, I don't know what the issue really is, other than it just feels like the other teams always have their number, always seem to be reading them really well on Ankara. But it's just not going well. And here comes Celebi once again. We got two members over towards the office, make it three. Mm -hmm. And even through the smoke, they really, the Celebi really got that done yesterday. Just going through the smoke and flashing out, rushing in, actually works better against a lot of the Chinese teams. Can also work against Brazilian teams. We're now having a big setup towards B quarters. But Imperial has a pretty good read that it's going to be A. Left B totally open, not totally open, empty is coming. Side of Ryu's out, they just set up the meat grinder at the front door of A, and it will be fat fair against the off angle as well from the connector. So, Imperial at least not gonna lose one to ten. Hooray! <laughs> it's something, uh, but there's gonna be a lot more work to be done for Imperial. They got the work cut out for them still. No more losing until you're in the extra round. Very nice setup coming through and Imperial backs to the wall, showing that they are not beaten just yet. Mm -hmm. Throwing two nades and flash, killing the shooting angle for Salami and make them go back into the alley side. Another really good stretch out to the quarters. <laughs> okay, Rambo. How did Rambo get here? It's just what he does. Finds a really weird angle. Comes in from behind. And now it's two on two, and the bomb is down in an awkward spot here for Celebi, but a couple of kills bring them immediately back into this round at least. Mm -hmm. C4 is down by minute 20. So I don't think Celebi is looking for that C4. That's a lot of damage done onto Lucom. He does win the fight, and now it's only low health Lucom to try to defend this one and keep the hopes alive. This was a 4v2. For Imperial, it was looking like, at least for this round, the tables were indeed getting turned on Celebi. Last Legends, but 4 to 2 turned into just Lucom with a very minimal health pool. Trying to make a, a miracle happen as Rambo just dispatching handily of, I think, three opponents in a row. Shady also helping him out. And with Lucom also getting over towards the B side, plant is open for Rambo. Going to be able to get that dropped down. And it'll be a really rough approach here for Lucom. And one more drop would mean that Celebi takes this map 10 to 2. The bomb. And so it does look like Lucom knows this is over by A. Rambo with the pistol out knows he only needs one shot and one kill. That is going to do it for them. Mm -hmm. Feeling slightly more comfortable with the pistol to get the shot done. And this is a great position. There it is. Lands the shot. 10 to 2 is the score. For the map on Kara, and we are all tied up one to one here in sets.
The Ankara issues continue for Imperial. After a dominant game in number one on court, where there were some issues, but once the tempo was found, it was not given over anymore. Now we see that a complete... Alright, here we are on to compound. Definitely a map that you can have some crazy rotations, some crazy aggression as well. And here we go already. <laughs> See that five man yep. attempted push from Solomy? Trying to look, seeing if anyone was uh, too far up center. Nothing actually coming through, and now Imperial, they are sniffing around double pillars. Don't actually want to move on just yet. Just prodding a little bit. And I think for Imperial also this first round, in terms of momentum, is going to be a really important one for you. You kind of want to get the jitters of the last game, shake them off, and make sure that you don't start on a similar footing. As they are making their way towards that A side. And for Solvi, 3B bottom. Not the most common uh, defensive, <laughs> defensive position uh, from the DR side. Yeah. But I did see a couple of times they, tr they tried different positions from... Oh, so everybody pushing into the entrance. Rambo able to grab one back as they know they're going to spawn at this moment in time. Hater gets a couple. Fefe able to pick up two. That does mean that although Fefe is super low, it is mm -hmm. still three to two in advantage here for Imperial. They get another one with MG finding that off angle. Okay, because they stayed near the GR base, they were able to cut down all the members coming from the B site easily. And MG is just going to use that pistol to get the final kill. Are we having the Imperial roll again? Well, at the very least, it's a, it's a win, which they haven't gotten in, I want to say, eight rounds. <laughs> so that's, that's something. And well. they have a final kill. He's not the one actually cashing in. But he's definitely going to be able to go. Lucas, though. Spirit of defense. Or the skirmish here. That is a needs to win. He'll be able to do so. Mm -hmm. And a separate duel here near the central, uh, near the central plaza, near the spawn. Rizal is going to pick up this kill. So it is just up to Lucas to rotate back and forth. Try to see if anyone's stuck in A. He knows that the C4 is down by the double pillars. And one guy is stuck there. I like the idea here from Lucas. He's maybe just going to wait for this one. You can kind of just camp on A, see if they come in, and, you know, just wait. Because the map is so large, and you're only one person, so they might not expect you on that off angle. Might give you the best shot. And otherwise, you know, if they do plant at B, good luck. <laughs> you yeah, got to take a risk. This is the mind game where you... There's a sniper. There's MG out. Sniper very likely... A site instead of B because it is certainly easier to get one down. Yeah, really, you can just peek out even after the plant is actually done at A site if it happens. Oh, Lucas's play might actually be working out, and this is, of course, the power of imperfect information. They don't know where he is, they have a completely free passage towards that B site, but instead, MG Ryuzao. Going in here towards that A side where Lucas is waiting in the wings. <laughs> mm -hmm. Doesn't unless, have a lot of health, mm -hmm. but yeah, unless Imperial really has an information where Lucas is, it's hard to get down to server. It's okay for Yuzao, but for MG, oh, who now switched off over to the rifle, so that's certainly a better position. But Luca, Lucas, having the patience to stay in one single position this entire time. There goes the bomb. Yeah, and this is how you're going to get this information. He's waiting, trying to see who the second person is. And he's oh. going to get both of them at once. Right. And Lucas, the genius, <laughs> makes it happen. I thought Fafley was the best at hide and seek, but yep. Lucas not only is so good at hide and seek that he's not found in that position, but he also, just by the mirage, the shimmer of his presence, is able to get Imperial to go towards that A site. And that would have been a really big round for Imperial, right? Going up 2-0 uh, mm -hmm. after what was a disaster of a round. And now if you lose this next one, you can already feel the pressure that Salabi is putting on you. 
compound and get harder to deal with. Mm -hmm, exactly, that was ignition on to begin with for Imperial. And Celebi just says, turn your power down. I can win this 1v2, that Lucas, what a smart play to stay in that small picking position. And you can still hear the footsteps come from me. shots! It's getting so much work done on this angle, and Rambo holds another angle, and then the 2v1 to finish it off. Celebi looked like an entirely different team today, and it is very impressive. Eight kills already in three rounds. He's carrying right. the team at the moment. <laughs> it's not bad. All right. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> Anytime, any day. The reason why you're here on stage. It's actually really impressive with how transformative Ooh. Celebi looks. Every shot, hit, uh, every shot hits as Rambo founds MG. Nothing that it really No fear, pure dominance coming through from Celebi. The three to one, three rounds swept in a row, and this is done to awfully, awfully similar. So the second map in Imperial. Don't think you can get let uh, Celebi get away from you again in terms of map score here. Uh -huh. Four man push in an off timing. This uh, only happens in Vietnam and China. It doesn't really happen too much in from Yumena or America's region. As they love to just push from the GR side. And it worked like a charm. Imperial again stabbed from the back, not really knowing what's going to happen in the future. They really have to be careful of these uh, different tactics. It is it is a specialty from each region. And Celebi is picking the exact right strategy every single time. They just have them figured out. You know, I, I don't even feel like it's a map issue anymore. You know, we, we saw Imperial having a lot of trouble on Ankara, yes. But now even in the beginning of Compound, it's like, no, I mean, Celebi just, they have them downloaded almost. And they're just playing fantastically, too. I mean, they're landing all their shots. They're winning a lot of firefights against great Brazilian players. Like, huge props to them. Let's see if they can do it again. This is where Imperial has had some luck on this push before, but so far, Huri is going to pick up two kills. There's Lucas as well. Celebi are doing it again. He's now picked up again from the side. It's just MG left towards the central plaza going back, but the C4s at the entrance where snipers can't really pick that up easily with three men defending from that A side because that angle is covered by Rambo. Has to take out the sniper first if he wants to go. And that's that's one problem. But then you got like five more. Lucas and Shady also in the general vicinity, ready to rotate. In case the push actually does come through. But with the C4 being down, it's hard to imagine who's gonna be able to actually do this. Does mm. hit, but yeah, not enough. The, yeah, only the wall shot, so not enough damage. And Shady's just going to jump on top of him. There was close to no way. Shady was the hero of the last map. This time, Lucas already 11 kills. Um, and for Imperial, no one really looks up to their own standards. I think they're feeling the pressure, especially Fefe as the, as the entry opener. And Lucam always with the flanks. At least managing to get because they lost control oftentimes from the central plaza. Double pillars first, and then maybe going into the normal rotation back into the plaza in a long. Lots of pressure being felt by Rambo, and look at the rest of the team on the mini map. They're all pushing out, trying to get as much information as possible. They should know that the push is looking to come in to be here from Imperial. Yeah, very likely, but. Because it's a B push, they have to check so many angles, and it's being slowed down because of the just because how the map is planned uh, planned out. And meantime, Hater is going all the way back, and coming from the behind too. And right, it's a couple of early frags here. Shady on the outside can be very difficult to retake the servers, the bottom of B, of course. And here comes the plant. Uh, some shots being thrown out there on the MG, but that is going to be the one that picks up the kill on the Shady here. Now there is many angles for Celebi to come on in. 
And with Hader getting taken down, looks like this time the tactical pause does actually work out unless Hori can make a miracle happen. That's what we said last time after the first tactical pause. <laughs> miracle happened this time around, not so much as Lukan put to pick up the final kill. And it is two to four now. Possibly a pivoting point for Impero in this series. And one they desperately need. <laughs> I love that. When teams do that in the central plaza of compound. Uh, doesn't pay off for them. No mm -hmm. real aggression from Imperial this time around. They liked that bit of a slow push that worked through the pillars the last round. So looking to do a similar thing over here. Yeah, those grenade into the central plaza when there's a big rotation. Two, three members from BL. A single grenade actually does more. Just shot through the legs right there. <laughs> and Rambo. Clearing the team with Lucas. Let's see where they can actually defend. It's going to stay from the A side. As you can see, Imperial switching over to what Whoa. worked before. Liking this. Salaby seemingly thinking that an A push is on their way. And already now, Imperial making their way over towards that server room. Rambo on his own. The Russian's really hard, doesn't hit the shot either. As much nades damage as last time, but still. Should be able to make control, but now Salaby is responding. Everyone making their way over. And they haven't actually taken control here yet. He was really bringing them in first. Oh man, but they're just going straight into the meat grinder. Celebi has been given time to set up on this site. Still a couple of nice shots from MG and Fefe, but this is not the entry that Imperial got in the last round. And this is not the style from Imperial. They did lose a couple of members trying to go into the server, but the backup should also just jump down. He tries to trade slightly better. Let's see the MG here. Oh, a couple Whoa. of nice shots. Not able to get the final one, though. Shady runs in <coughs> with the pistol and keeps the lead going for Celebes. And it was a closer round. Imperial still looking reinvigorated. But in the end, unlike the last round, they're not able to actually get into that server room. And now, firefight by Imperial. Imperial is taken down. And it's a disaster for Imperial. MG trying to do as much as he can now. Views out. It's up one. Maybe he had a little bit of damage done, but it's not enough. And Salaby looking to run away completely. Very swift round. Come through for them. Yeah, and that's what you like to see, the energy as well. They get in position in the pillars. They say, okay, Imperial's liking this angle. Let's bring the fight to them. And they crush them in there. And again, Imperial's been looking for a challenge. And Salavi immediately just backs up saying, okay, not this time. Let's try to find the position. They will take that Four are coming through yeah, this but angle. Comes at a three man setup. Yeah. Just ready again. I mean, this is a constant thing we've been seeing. Mm -hmm. Imagine going from winning the first map 10 to 6, I think it was, into losing two in a 10 to 2 fashion. That will be a disaster for Imperial. But still, free versus free. Very important pickup there. Health bars are low, but that in of itself, not insurmountable here for Imperial. Yeah, just putting Aider in the bait spot towards the B site. She Lucas found find squad who's out super low. Yeah, it's pretty big. I mean, he carried more than his weight, able to take out one and get the other guy low. MG still has a sniper, so even with low health, if he can get the drop, and a couple of shots, and it could be good, but no, the pistol does the job. And now it's only Ruzal. At least Ruzal has the C4, carrying it around. Only 51 seconds. Does he want to fake the rotation to B site or just go straight into A? And his opponent is Lucas. 
This happened before. Again, want to reiterate how important this match is for both these two teams. Uh, Salaby will be able to close it out. Lucas again, 14 kills here on the first half. If you lose this one as Imperial, there is no such thing as safety as, a, as far as it yeah, comes to here this week. But this is going to be a big challenge now as we get into second. All right, second half here for Compound. It really all comes down to this. Seven to two currently in favor of Celebi. So we got a nice little chant coming out from Celebi Last Legends. They really want to end it here. And let's see if they can. Seven to two is the current round score. Let's go Celebi on the blacklist. Checking central, they're actually coming out towards the center boxes. To the trash, they have the control, and Celebi knew this would happen. Not even going to be anywhere, whoa, Rambo. Yeah, with that nade, he surely knows that everything is controlled, basically. Ooh, that's a rough shot to miss there, he's going to try to... Duck his way out of that mm -hmm. position, and he will be safe. Yeah, usually you don't see sniper at the unless you go into public. But <laughs> <laughs> a little bit different here, uh -huh. I, I'd say. Works out well for him, though. Um, not able to actually find a kill. Had an opportunity on top of there, but not able to quite hit the shot. But at the very least, got out with his life. Imperial, though, so far mm -hmm. pushed up here, and I'm wondering what it's going to work out of backfire. Look, Han waiting here in a sneaky position. That's a one for one trade, but the backup is just much better from Celebi. Pepe there in the corner. Gets spotted, finds two, though. And with MG also picking up the kill with the pistol, it is Imperial picking up a very important round. Fefe, that spot, I call that the weak sauce spot. No one actually, <laughs> actually goes in there, but that's just a free kill if anyone just doesn't check and Grogo crosses by. But at least he brought the reference up. That's also the reason why Celebi doesn't really check that spot. Yeah. You don't expect three in that corner. Fire in the now another interesting Fire position in here. Imperial pushed all the way through the pillars. Celebi back here at the pipe entrance. And you can see that uh, Ryuzao had pushed up. He did back away afterwards through the pillars. So Imperial going to go for a potentially a more traditional defensive setup after this. Another uh, moment for Celebi, kind of just reading the situation, trying to read the mm -hmm. pressure. And they all... Yeah, but because of that uh, early pressure of previous round, you know, Celebi is going to take a lot of time checking, <laughs> just going out to the central plaza. They're being extremely cautious. That's a similar thing that happened to Imperial on the second round, right, or in the second map, rather, right, where getting pushed in so aggressively when you're not quite expecting it, it can really throw you off for any subsequent rounds, means that you need to recalibrate, try and figure out again, okay, is this something that they tried just this once, or is this now going to be a consistent thing? And those type of mind games can show a slower team down, rather. One Minutes left on the clock, and slowly pressure will be mounting for Celebi. Needs to make their way to one side or the other, but Imperial looking to be in prime position to respond to any push that might come through. Mm -hmm. And the timing of Flash slowly moving in towards the entrance only. Oh, fantastic. Leading the charge here on to May, but it's not looking out too well for them. But hurry, and Lucas going to follow up with some big kills, a double kill here for Lucas. And now it's just MG with the sniper. Once again, he's going to have to try to retake this. Unlike, unlike Lucan and Notson, they had the 180. Was supposed to pick up at least one more kill from that A defense. Uh, but Lucas right now just turns around and finds those headshots everywhere. And here's MG again, the last survival. Finds one, and if he had more time, then might be a proper opportunity for him. Yes. Hello, that's oh. two, though. Only one more he needs to deal with. Fuse is coming through. Is MG going to do it? Oh! Barely won't be able to. As Hori, not scared. The fuse not quite coming through. And now, 
And it's a free here for Salaby. Smart, smart movement by uh, Huri. Knowing that MG is a sniper, going to be looking for that sniper shot, likely. And instead of going straight into him, chose the jumping path, harder to aim. Perfect choice there. And to get Imperial with maximum pressure. Oh, Nothing got the half shot, Rambo can get the damage in this time. MG though, slowly coming online. That's now multiple shots in a row. Had some difficulty hitting them on Ankara, but those worries seemingly not. Mm -hmm. Giddy always, oftentimes just switching out into AWM and in the middle of the round, just going back to rifle when there are no active action. Mostly as a scout. Probably a good idea based on what Imperial is doing at this moment in time. Just immense aggression and then backing away. You can see that Celebi, they're going to take their time with this one once again. Mm -hmm. Thought we were going to see a lot of MG uh, aggressive position from the B side because Celebi loves to take control over the double pillars. At least send uh, two men up here just to check B and be spread out over the map. The bottom half of the, half of the map, and that's exactly when MG can get the first easy free shots with the sniper. Fire in the it was also tried out oftentimes by Bisher Gaming yesterday, and it worked really well against Celebi. This Oxen is like, oh, <laughs> didn't expect all four of them to be looking at me. Unfortunately for him. He ran straight into it. Hurry did take a lot of damage as well on the backside. And Shady is way in here with the AWM trying to line up the angle. Out the window goes Lucas. He's going to win that firefight, but MG is getting so much done right now. As in goes Lucas, who is really just hard carrying right now. And he's going to pick up another one alongside of Rambo, who got the first headshot. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, Rambo actually got control over the center in the A side. Fefe late to join the party, just entering A site now, but they're all hiding. Not going to show. Still 30 headshot. seconds. Oh, but magically, Fefe finds that headshot. Very important. Lucas is able to the final shot. And that is such a big one. Imperial, they pretty effortlessly won the first map. Second one felt like a fluke, but now. After this incredibly dominant round, 9-2, one more win for Celebi, and it is done and dusted. They will get this match victory, able to pick up the one win, evening out their score and throwing this group into an entirely different light. Yeah, it's super, extremely hard to pick and get the right answer. Now it gets two, find that Holding strong and a better trade at the end of it. Yeah. They do have position on the site, but it's still a win here for Imperial, especially with that extra kill by the way of Ruzal as Befe picks up the last one. Celebi, you know, up into pace a little bit now that they have secured at least extra rounds. But uh, they have so much time to just get the one round. Sometimes, not to jinx them at all. Sometimes but it is certainly possible. You think you just, have, you just have to get one round, and then you Not continue. Not to jinx them, but yeah. it's only one round, and often it goes wrong. Yeah, See what you're trying to do, That's the type of mindset sometimes. You just have, well, we can try ten different things. At least one's going to work, right? right. And then you start We're losing two, probably. three, four. And then suddenly you're into a weird situation. Okay, we only have two chances anymore. Even though you're still winning, as what we also said yesterday, it feels like you're losing. Getting being chased is a it's a different type of feeling. And once that gets into your head, well, you can't really focus 100% on the game. And that's. But I like the fact that Salaby is not really just rushing into each site. Still being super cautious of what happened in the very first round. But this eats a lot of the time. Not wanting to take any risks can be a risk in of itself as 
Plenty of people waiting here from Imperial. Yeah, this seems to be an a, a long attack, which they have never tried yet. Even Imperial never really tried an a, a long attack in the first half. You see Shady's trying to be sneaky there in mid and draw people over, but as you mentioned, G Clef, this is the A long attack. And everybody on the side of Imperial is waiting in this exact site. Just waiting for this moment. Well, <laughs> that didn't work. That wasn't it. That everything. This is actually a great moment for them. All right. Here we go. Nine to five. Celebi have lost the last couple of rounds. They're having a little bit of trouble closing this one out. As um, shady. shady? <laughs> he's just he's being shady. Just, he's, it, it's it's an advanced strategy. Mm -hmm. um, not quite sure what's happening, and I think we might be. Oh. Maybe he's just waiting to like switch a gun or something. I don't know. Like. <laughs> yeah. Well. No. Yeah. No. Are we? Shady, are you? Uh, yeah, I think they're just staying, just staying there, just in case. Are you okay? But he hasn't moved. Just in he's case anyone checks the spawn. Mm -hmm. He's looking around. This is about as passive as you can be. Hmm. Are we reading too much into this? Another public strat. If you're the only one left against against the world, yeah, go back to your spawn. Oh. He's moving. There he is. He's moving. I think they just wanted to take slow steps, but three men set up. Big time for Imperial. A room. Oh, I think they want to get them like a book. Uh huh. A long push again. Fire in the hole. Sliding up, but still, Celebi's gonna win the firefight. Even though three of them were waiting in the room. It was still too much for Imperial to handle. And instant rotate back to your own base. I like this rotation. Celebi, they want to take the final round and win the match. And they're in prime position. The two people alive for Imperial are the players that have performed the best up till now. Ryuzao and MG still there. But it is just MG on the table. Will got taken very, very low. Can he at least <laughs> get someone? And he turned away at the exact moment. What a timing. Yeah, and he's going to go down. The plant will be put onto the A site. And Ryu Zhao, he's got one gun in a dream against four of them right now. Not looking too good for our Imperial player. Gets one. Yeah, the gun comes out, but it's not good enough. Celebi taking a 2-1 victory here in our first match of the night. That's an incredibly important victory. Celebi not expected to do as well. Expected to do better than yesterday, for sure. But picking up a big is contentious. Going to be a great start going for Imperial. This round, or this round, is incredible. Not great, but that second half on Para was just a disaster. Nothing working out. Celebi just ahead of them at every single point in time. Now, what is this team tied up in one spot? Celebi is really showing the power of Vietnam on the international stage. They are back, boys. And if we're Imperial on the other side, I'm, I'm saying it again, they never looked this week on stage. They're, they can always come back within the game. Even after a map, they just switch the gear and oftentimes just pick on. Or at least have some competitive score in the map. But this is 2 to 10. Well, of course, they won the first map, but after that, 2 to 10, 5 to 10. This should totally not happen.